Hi, my name is Finian. Welcome to the GSR Tuning Tips. First thing you want to do when you unroll your sail is to make sure that this new plastic fitting is straight so that the mass is going to go in directly. You don't want it to be out like this or obviously in like that. First point. The mass is very simple. This, this is a, a love sleeve which is very simple at the bottom. It's got, got the opening straight. I just put it in straight like this until there. Then I move up to here. Camber above the board, so that's it. Then the last bit, this camber, goes straight into the top, just like that. Pushing the mass in like this. I have my friend Steve here. The rope is threaded correctly. I'm going to put some pretension on. To the mass coming just as it starts to disappear inside the love sleeve. From there, it's very easy to put the first camber. The second camber, very easy as well. The camber in the, below the, the, the bottom, push down on the inside, also very easy. The trick I then employ is to put a little bit more pretension on. And then you can put in this camber very easily as well. There you have the sail ready for the boom. So when we're lacing up the back end of the race sail, a lot of uh, modern uh, racers, in fact all racers on the Pillaway circuit, have a, a double-sided adjustment system. This is really important, even if you're racing around with your friends at your local spot. The wind tends to go up and down a lot, uh, always is going up and down for everybody. So it's important that if you want to have one sail out there on the water, that you have the possibility to change your, your uh, range of power. So in this way, that's why all the racers have a double adjustment on both sides. On this section like this, you tie it off. Once your uh, double tension is ready, you're going to preload the out hole like that. Now you're ready for your final downhole tension to find the, the correct trim for the day sailing. So very important when you're looking for the downhole, a lot of the pro sailors like to look to the mid leech on the back side and the top of the sail. Not too much to the bottom. So as we pull down, we can see where we want to be. There's a, a mark at the top of all the gun sails, the fret mark, which is the recommended downhole. Um, this tack strap uh, has a lot of play. If you leave it very loose like this, this the overall sail uh, can be a little bit softer. The leech is a little bit softer. Could be good for, for a little extra pumping uh, uh, possibilities. At the same time, if you pull it like this, you're going to get a lot more tension in the bottom of the sail and it can help you in especially choppy water. From 2016 to 2017, there were some very clear points that we wanted to work on with the development. We felt uh, The whole team felt that the sails had uh, excellent stability and top speed at the high end. We wanted to try to find a little bit more spring in the top of the rig, uh, try to connect the twist a little bit more. So we tried to work a lot on the connected twist, uh, having a little bit more life and spring in the top of the sail while still keeping the top speed and overall control of the rig as we have in 2016. So for everything that we worked on, really a, a clear step forward. You can see uh, when the sail is loaded like this, that the sail is fully twisted in the downhole, but it looks like it doesn't even have twists at the top, which means that the, all the twist numbers from the top to the bottom are really connected together. This is helping the sail have a lot more life, a lot more uh, breath, let's say, on the water. And uh, in, in terms of top speed, I think it increases the top speed because there's no uh, part of the sail which is not getting used correctly. All the sizes having uh, better rotation, easier at the mark, better to get planing. Uh, at the same time, the stability of the rig and the stability of the front leading edge has not been uh, compromised. Hello to everybody, I'm Renato Morlotti, Gun Sail Sail Designer, and I'm happy to introduce the new GSR Comset. Um, what has been changing, especially from 2016 into 2017 collection. Main point was, besides uh, demand and performance from the team side, for us it was very important to get lighter sail. And this has been my main target designing the new sails. Um, how to achieve the result has been uh, possible by changing the way how the sail is constructed in a few critical points. 
and uh, even by creating new features in the manufacturing side, which are clear giving advantage at the time that the sale is on the balance. Besides uh, the increasing performance the team was demanding for, we also decided to work a lot on the weight reduction. 2017 GSR lost an average 500 grams comparing the previous sales. And this is one of the biggest and stronger points for you guys to enjoy the sale on the water.